Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we will be continuing our side quest adventure through the Sword Coast. We are nearing the end of our side quest adventures actually, there's only a couple of places to go from here. The last time we uh, explored the Firewine Bridge and Dungeon, both of which weren't as hard as I remember them being, which actually is a great thing. Next on our list is going to be Ulcaster, then we will be doing the temple and this forest district and then we're going to complete probably this last area. We're going to leave this one alone. And the reason is I'm going to come back at a higher level and do that area just because there is a person there I wish to kill and he is an extremely difficult it. fight. So we are going to explore the Ulcaster ruins and also the dungeon. There is a small dungeon beneath the former Ulcaster school which we will be going into and exploring. It's actually one of my favorite places lore wise. It's just kind of neat. Um, I want him to be using a bow right now. Alright, so we found some hobgoblins, promptly executed them. Interesting side note about hobgoblins in terms of lore. Hobgoblins weren't always these monstrous sort of um, warrior, well they were a warrior cast or warrior race, but they weren't always so savage I guess. They once had a very proud and um, well-respected civilization actually. They had organized uh, civiliz or an, or <laughs> an organized uh, social structure, they had some technological advancement, and they had their own cities. They were wiped out, I believe, by humans though, as are most races. Humans seem to love war more than anything else, especially in the Forgotten Realms, and they're very good at killing other races off, like elves, orcs, goblins, you know, everyone they come across for the most part, they end up killing. Um, we're going to head up north here. There is one other thing I'm going to do right away before we go into... Hello, random hobgoblin. There are a bunch more hobgoblins here, okay. Viconia doesn't like the light because she's a drow. Uh, drow spend most of their lives in the Underdark, which is uh, a series of massive caves and cav er, well, caves tunnels and uh, caverns beneath the surface of Faerun. This is where all of the underground races live. So people like the Drow, the Duigar, who are the Dagar? Duigar? I can't remember how to pronounce their name exactly, but um, they are the Dark Dwarves, also known as the Grey Dwarves. They live underneath the ground as well. Um, who else lives underneath the ground? Um, the Illithid, aka Mind Flayers, generally live below the ground. Uh, beholders, more of the nastier creatures live underground. But the Drow generally are considered to be the powerhouse of the underground races because their civilization and magic are so advanced comparatively to the other monstrous races that they are the de facto rulers of the Underdark. Um, so there is a man thing named Furret here. He says, Wayfarers, wait up a moment. I wish to have a word with you. You're adventurers, are you not? Yes, we're adventurers. Why should you care? That's good, then. You see, I'm an adventurer of sorts. I'm not very fond of battle. I like to pilfer objects from ruins and monstrous lairs. I try my best to avoid getting hurt. Anyway, I have something that might interest you. I have a gem in my possession. A magical gem. I have no use for it, and I can't get the price I'm looking for from anyone I met. Would you perhaps be interested? Sorry, we have no interest in a magical gem. It's too bad that you couldn't see the obvious value of this gem. I guess I'll be on my way. It's not actually a magical gem. I just wanted to show you guys that really quickly in case you run into it in your own adventures. There is no magic in that gem. It is a worthless gem that, or which value, its value is far beyond or far below anything that you will get for it in a store. So I highly recommend you don't grab the gem, but if you want a worthless gem for way more gold than it's worth, then feel free to take it. We are going to head up here now towards the ruins themselves. There are a few people to talk to outside and we will do that really quickly. The first is going to be a hard left. We're going to come right up here and a quick save. Right before we run into some skeletons apparently. As you may have guessed already, the Elkester ruins are haunted. Go figure. So, kill off all the skeletons, and we are moving onwards. Can't save. Whatever. We're not too concerned about it right now. 
Um, there should be someone, yes, right here. This is Allcaster himself. He used to run this school. He says, the best of schools. A storehouse of arcane knowledge. Lost, all lost, a common dungeon now. All for knowledge we did strive, nothing left. Hope would return with the retrieval of the simplest tomes beneath the rubble on the lowest floors. Return hope, history is so important. He wants us to bring a tome back from the depths and we are going to do that for him. Uh, he will also give you the Vampiric Longsword if you have the Idol of Koza and the Ancient Armor. So the Idol we do have still, the Ancient Armor we gave away so we cannot get the Vampiric Longsword. That being said, we don't really care. A skeleton named Ikarid says, Flesh here, enough to make me whole again. You'll taste this flesh over my dead body. Wait a minute. Yes, I shall. Taste your flesh and cover these old bones. Let's see about that, Ikarid. He actually hits pretty hard, if I recall. But our characters are more than capable, it would appear, of taking him down. Uh, he has a magic... Morning Star, a spell, and a really cool looking helmet actually. Um, what is your helmet? Oh, he has a helmet bin for vision. He has a normal helmet. Uh, Vicania needs a helmet, so let's you gather up our group here. And we're going to slam down a metal helmet onto her dome to make sure she doesn't die. You know, any more than she already has in the dozens of reloads we've done already. So, her helmet. Actually looks kind of cool. Go on, then. Roy, we are now going to head down into the Ulcaster dungeon. It's pretty cool. I actually really like this area. Ooh, ghasts. A lot of them. Spin. Or ghouls, I should say. Ghasts are a little tougher than ghouls. They are different, fire. technically. So we'll fight these you off. And then we'll... The entrance to the ruins is right here. This little stairwell. I'm on it. I'm on it. Um, I'm going to get Zara here to go pick up all the loot. As it looks to be mostly gem related and ring related. And a scroll. What's the scroll? The scroll is a scroll of invisibility. We're going to give that to Edwin. Actually, I don't know if Edwin can learn that one. I think it is a... Oh no, he should be able to. I don't think Zara can learn that one because it's an illusion spell. That's right. Apparently his inventory is not full, but he's... Too far away. Where is Edwin? Oh, he's way down there. Okay. So, we'll give him the invisibility scroll. We'll quickly save. And we will learn it. Yay, we did learn it. Invisibility is pretty useful. Uh, we're not going to worry about it too now. There are a couple things to do in this area. So, we'll wander through together. In this room, there is a corpse coming up here with a couple of magic items on it or a magic item I should say it's a dagger plus one it's really not that special but it'll be worth selling which is always good uh, I believe that there are a couple yes wolves around the side here so we'll kill them and there's a potion and some gems on the ground as well right there this next part kind of sucks i'm actually going to gather up my whole group for this particular area and what i'm going to do is possibly fireball the whole area to be honest there are quite a few spiders right down here I'm going to see if I can just go around the corner and lob a fireball in before I die. That took care of some of the spiders. I'm going to throw one down to the end of the hallway and hope that... Nope, doesn't look like you got anything else. Okay. My main characters will go in then. My fighters. It is now their duty to kill the rest of the spiders. I remember there being significantly more spiders in here. Like 10 or more. I'm not exactly sure why there aren't that many. But that's okay. I mean, it makes it a little bit quicker for us, I guess. I just remember there being just tons of spiders. Oh. You right. 
we are going to move on to the next part of this dungeon. Um, on, be just down the other direction here. Uh, we'll let Listen, our main character go first. His armor is significantly better than Dorne's. I don't believe we'll need any of our other characters at this moment. I think there's another way in right here as well. Or is that the way we came in? That's the way we came in. Never mind. I'm just dumb. It looks like there's a bunch of bodies hidden there. That's probably not a good thing. There's lots of bodies oh, all around. Yikes. So we're going to come around this corner here and into this room. We're going to quickly you save. I believe there is a fight coming up right here. Yep. So there's a couple of jellies in this room. We'll kill them. And then there's a little bit of loot here for us to grab. I'm actually going to grab that with this character. This was an adventurer who obviously didn't make it. He got killed by this mustard jelly. Which we are going to kill. Slowly but surely. Come on. There we go. It's worth 2,000 experience, so it's actually pretty worth killing. I have to say. And now we are going to head off into the last part of this small dungeon. I actually really like this dungeon. Although it is kind of small and closed in like... Um, the Firewind Ruins. Where do I go from here? I think I go down this way. Or do I? Sometimes I get a little bit lost in here. Maybe it's straight down this way. We will find our path at some point. I wish there was a light spell or something. I guess I could turn up the contrast on my monitor if I really wanted to be able to see better, but then I lose some of my color and that's just not cool. We'll find the way on our own, I'm not worried. Let's take a quick look on the map. Maybe the map will give us some guidance. Looks like there's a hallway here. Yes, okay. So we'll go down this hallway now. There shouldn't be a whole lot except for some wolves. We'll let Eltamar take the brunt of this one, just because he hasn't taken any damage yet. He also has vastly more hit points than Dorne. Like, almost triple the hit points. We're gonna move through here. Oh, there's a couple more dogs to kill. Dreadwolves? I believe... No, uh, sorry. Vampiric wolves can only be hurt by magical weapons. Dreadwolves, you can still use normal weapons. However, if you're in this place without magical weapons, you should probably go pick some up by this point of the game, to be honest. A lot of monsters can only be hurt by magical items. Okay, I think we go this way. This looks correct. And then we go around the corner. This does not look correct, sorry. I'm bad at mazes, just as a heads up. Uh, we go this way. Yes, this is the right way. Okay. I'm going to keep our main character in front. Right, he is the most capable of not dying. There's a uh, corpse here with some arrows on it. The only arrows I'm going to grab there are those ones. These arrows, I believe, are arrows of piercing. Oh god. Right. Now we'll need another mule. Let's uh, quickly reload. Something Let's get a Monteron down here. There is definitely a trap there. That did not go particularly well. Um, the arrows of piercing, though, are extremely useful for killing a certain dark elf soon-ish. He is very hard to kill, and they give a plus four Thacko bonus. I'm actually going to wait till Monteron has a second point in Longbow before we even remotely get close to that fight. So I'm going to grab those arrows with him while he's here, I guess. Oh god. <sighs> well, no one died, so whatever. Good enough. Sorted. I'm going to just send my main character into this fight. This fight is actually pretty hard, so I'm going to bottleneck a little bit. And kill the wolves one by one, or two by one, whatever it ends up being. Dread wolves themselves aren't tough, but the vampiric wolf is actually pretty hard to shoot. He hits quite hard. Or is the vampiric wolf even in this room? Maybe this isn't the room with the vampiric wolf. I don't believe it is. I think there's just dread wolves in this room. I think. I also remember there being a ton more dread wolves. Um, maybe I'm wrong though. I guess it could be. Okay. 
We're gonna grab this wand. That is a wand of fireball. We're also gonna send our character in to fight the Vampiric Wolf. They hit pretty hard. Um, that being said, our character should be perfectly fine. I can't imagine there will be a problem with this wolf. And what else do we have to do in here? We needed a book. And I cannot remember for the life of me where the book is. It might be in this pile of blow up everybody. They like their traps in this place apparently. I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay, let's go kill that wolf again this time, but better. Monteron find traps. I did not remember about that trap, unfortunately. You rang. Right, and so sister, our group got well, at door and got blown up. Now, I'm not sure why there's a trap there by all the bodies. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. For one, wolves don't this really set traps. But, I mean, that's the book we're looking for. Ooh, we are full up. Um, so, Gemdazar, Gemdazar... That is an old bounty. We're gonna give that to Edwin to throw in his little pouch. We failed ghoul touch, but whatever. And gems can all go in the gem bag. Oops, wrong one. And who has room in their inventory for things? Uh, I guess he does, sort of. I'm actually gonna do that. Go on, I'm on it. Not you, sorry. I meant you were gonna come grab the rest of this junk. So just some potions, some arrows. A lot of those are just fire arrows and stuff like that. We now have the book we need, so we're gonna leave. That was the Elcaster dungeon. I actually really like it. Uh, it was once a school uh, for mages, and um, now it's just a ruin full of, uh, well, formerly full of evil creatures that we have cleared out. So all casters should be able to go to rest. After this area, we're going to go turn in a couple of quests at the temple and uh, kill some dudes in that area as well. And then we will move on with the, I believe we only have two or three more side areas to go. So we should be done pretty quickly. Maybe in one or two more videos. This one took slightly longer than I thought it would. Oops. Oh god, I hit the button. It's H. H hides your UI. I couldn't remember which one was which. Uh, where is the ghost of Alcaster? He should be around here somewhere. Right there. Hello. We'll go give him his book and he can go to rest. Knowledge returns with these simple words on parchment to teach once more. In a celestial class, I will prevent the same from happening someday. So we got another thousand experience for that. And we are going to leave. Do, 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 do. How are we looking for uh, you levels? Ready? Getting fairly close with some people. I think Bikani is going to be our okay. next level. We're going to head up here to the temple. So we came in on the south side. We're going to do um, a quick thing here. Before we go up to the temple itself and hand in some quests. There should be a person. There we go. Okay. Again, you, did you are going to stand there. You right, what's this then? Why do you only have one firewall? Okay. Alright. So Eltamar is going to go in. Katak says, he, he, ha, ha, you know, fight, you fight, you die, give all gold and iron or you die to simple choices. What I say or die, 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 die. We'll never surrender to you cut rate marauders. Your hearts are brave. We rip them out and show you. Chill, attack. This is a group of chill bandits, which are hobgoblins, obviously. But what I'm going to do is... That takes care of that pretty much whole group, except for Katak, who we will now execute as well. My character could actually hit him. There we go. Um, we're not going to bother looting their bodies. There's a bunch of nothing on them. Not really worth our time. Next up, there are a couple wolves to kill. Just around the side of this mountain. And then what else do we have to do? I think we just go into the um, temple after this. I 
believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty certain. Yeah, yeah. And then after this, we have three more places to go. Uh, one of them is pretty quick. Well, actually, one of them is a little bit longer, and then the other two are very quick. So maybe we'll do the longer one in this video if there's time, or maybe we'll do one of the shorter ones in this video if there's time. Uh, this is a Dreadwolf, a Warg, another Dreadwolf, and another Warg. Dorn is not going to live through this fight if he keeps getting hit like that. He does have a lesser healing potion. He really needs more hit points, and I don't know why his hit points are so low, considering he has 19 constitution. But, whatever. Maybe it's his sword or something that lowers his hit points. No? Alright, well, whatever. Let's kill off these wolves. They're worth a bunch of experience. And I believe there is a vampire wolf among them. Yes, there's two vampire wolves among them, actually. Okay. So we're gonna take on these vampire wolves. Our main character is the most equipped to deal with them. They give a lot of experience, so I highly recommend killing them if you come through here. If you want to get a bunch of uh, experience towards your levels, make sure you have magical weapons. Vampiric or vampiric wolves cannot be hit by non-magical weapons. Just as a heads up, I think I mentioned that before, but just to remind you guys. Definitely, definitely have magical weapons. We're gonna just uh, loop around this little mountain area. There's one more person to talk to outside really quickly. I just remembered. He's right here. His name is Gallius. He's a play on Galileo. 30 degrees latitude, longitude varying greatly. Moons in conjunction with, pardon my lack of focus, but I've been studying the skies for some time now. Now I've been positively, positively wicked kink in my neck, and I can't seem to focus on anything closer than the horizon, such as the pains of astrology, I suppose. And what have your observations revealed to you? Oh, I couldn't possibly tell you all I see. There is so much raw data that must be interpreted and explained thrice over. Examined thrice over, sorry. It is a wonder that I can even assimilate all of that knowledge with no ill effects. Still, the long and short of it reveals interesting times ahead. If I did not know better, I would say that the heavens themselves look on with an interest. Conflicts of great significance are on the horizon. Again, as in the beginning of the game, foreshadowing, there is a great conflict coming. This is the temple. I think it's a temple to Lathlander? Song of the Morning Temple? That sounds like a Lathlander temple. Um, there's a man named Keldath Omerlir. He is the cleric. We are going to go talk to him. Welcome. By the Morning Lord, I see you have the holy symbol of Basilius. Basilis, sorry. It must have been a difficult battle to take down such a powerful man. Yours is a service that will not soon be forgotten. It is a pleasure to give you the full reward for which you have worked. We got 8,000 experience and 5,000 gold. That is a lot of gold. He has nothing really of note. So we're going to just leave him here. That was pretty much it for the temple. Just hand in the quest and then go. Um, there is a vestibule up here we'll go into really quickly. There's nothing of note inside, but it's kind of amusing. Just because of the way the uh, priests act. So, vestibule. I wonder if I can just go in with my main character. I'm hoping so. Yes, it looks like I can. So, if you talk to the priest, he says, Hey, yeah, and who might you be? Nobody important. Go see Keldath for temple business. I just clean the floors. Tis lean times. Basically, all he does is clean the floors, and they're quite proud of their clean floors, apparently. So, that is it in this area. Oh, sorry, there's one more quick little thing that I will note. If you come up to the north part of this area, just over here, right before you hit the edge of the map, there is a drunk here. He is going to ask you for all of your gold, if you give him your gold, you should probably just quit the game. Hello, guys. How you doing? Heh <laughs> I got lost on my way home. Anyway, that don't matter. Give me all of your monies. I'm going to say, uh, you're asking for a word or world of trouble, guy. Why don't you get lost before we have to hurt you? Wrong answer, boy. Sick. You should have given me the money when I asked. You know what I am? I'll let you in a secret. I'm a lich. Yes, I'm a powerful magic shy wield. Now you've made me mad. You got one last chance to give me all your monies, hick. 
I guess if you're a lich, we're gonna have to kill you. Whoa, you guys just don't get it, do you? I'm gonna kill you with all my mighty magical powers. So now is what's gonna be death or or something. Go to hell, you old bum. Hey, what's your you? Uh, he passed out. Okay, so the drunk passed out. We didn't actually have to kill him. Unfortunately, I would have. I would. Um, so we're gonna try and do one of the quick areas. Actually, this is the longer area we're going into. Um, maybe I will end the video right now a little bit early after the gibberling swarm. Let's see if we can just take these out really quickly. Alright, this should be fairly easy at this point. We'll just clean up the rest of them. Again, we're not going to loot their bodies, we're just going to leave. I know I'm leaving loot on the ground, but I don't care. It's not worth enough to make it, you know, worthwhile. Okay, so we're going to end this video here. In the next video, we're going to be going through this area and possibly one more area. And then we should be pretty much done with these side quests. And then we will continue with the main storyline. Again, my name is Eltimar, and if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.